Hello again. Well, it's been a little bit more than one month, four weeks since I left Windows World and uh, found a refuge in the Linux universe. Currently I'm using Linux Mint 19.2 and it's been a blast. I am so happy for using Linux Mint. It's a wonderful distribution that I am so content with. So how it's been last four or five weeks using Linux in general? Well, it's been great. Of course, I experienced some setbacks and difficulties, but I think that I uh, overcame all of them, or most of them at least. Uh, the biggest thing is, of course, getting used to using Linux system. You know, using Windows for so many years, it feels a little bit strange because you are used to using Windows, uh, Windows Explorer and all those Windows uh, programs such as Adobe, Vegas and so on. And it's being difficult on that side, you know, on, on, on the app, on the programs side. Well, I'm used to Adobe programs such as InDesign, Photoshop, Illustrator and so on. And in these programs you cannot find and use at least not natively in uh, Linux. So I had to look at the alternatives. So for InDesign alternative, I use uh, Scribus. And it took me some time to, you know, get used to it and uh, find out all the differences comparing to InDesign, but I did it. It took me several hours. Um, and even less to even get, you know, get uh, to use Scribus in any productive way. So uh, Scribus is a very, very good uh, alternative for uh, InDesign. And you can even use it in Windows. Uh, I've used Scribus before for a short period of time. Uh, and it's a great uh, program. But of course, if you're used to InDesign, the learning curve is pretty steep I would say but not that steep your head needs uh, a slight reshuffling if I may say so so Scribus uh, is uh, my major program the only program for uh, making PDFs uh, uh, ebooks and, and, and such GIMP I'm using GIMP as an alternative to Photoshop, which I used professionally and privately for so many years, uh, almost 20 years, I would say. So this is still difficult, you know, to, to make a change from Photoshop to InDesign because they work in different way. But GIMP is still very, very powerful tool. I just still need a lot of time to get used to it, you know, and uh, get adjusted to, to its uh, tools. But it's a very good uh, program and uh, yeah, I need a lot of time to get to know it. Then we have Krita. Krita was my first choice on my new Linux system that I used. Uh, but of course, um, I found out quite quickly that although very powerful tool, it is mostly for uh, creative uh, drawing and painting and such. I do like to paint from time to time and I will use Krita when I feel creative. Um, however, found out that it is not so easy and not so versatile program in as, uh, in regards to image manipulation such as you know as GIMP or, or Photoshop so uh, Krita is great for minor changes and uh, image 
manipulation, but not for uh, extensive uh, use. However, I'm still using it because I just love uh, the, the, the possibilities you can do in, in, in Krita. So, uh, wonderful program that you must use if you are somewhat creative. Games. I'm having these small two games, Isle, Riot, Solitaire and Mines. I actually play them from time to time, especially when I am waiting for something, you know. Um, it could be some installation or uh, backup thing I'm doing on my computer. And then I just play a bit of, uh, yeah, this Klondike Solitaire games. Um, I guess they... Uh, just showing and saying a bit about me, you know, that I am getting old and uh, <laughs> because there's this notion that uh, only old people play this game and uh, yeah, if that is true, then uh, I am getting into that pool of people. Klondike, very nice game. Also, as you can see, I changed my menu panel. It used to be down here, and now it's up there. And um, I don't know if I'll keep it, but for now I like it because the way I sit, the angle, I'm looking at my monitor, um, I like the way it looks, and I can actually see which icons are active or, you know, which programs are open as a uh, you can see here Firefox and I can see this blue line here um, it's for some reason more difficult when the panel is down there I know what is the reason it's of course the angle I am looking at it and of course uh, uh, my monitor design so games I riot solitaire I'm actually playing Mines from time to time. It's uh, good good for killing some time spare time So uh, that's pretty good steam. Of course, I have steam and this is one of Major reasons I am staying in in the Linux um, if steam was not Available and accessible in Linux. I would probably not be using uh, Linux just which is one of the main reasons you know um, for 10 15 years ago when I tried Linux for first time it wasn't possible to play any games uh, you know big games uh, the ones that are available on Windows uh, it wasn't possible to play them for 10 15 years ago but it is now and uh, it's great as I said in the previous videos, uh, only major game that I cannot play on Linux is Far Cry. Well, there are probably more games, but this is the most current game that I was playing on Windows and, uh, and I cannot play it on Linux. But it's okay, I played some time and, uh, on, on Windows and um, I can live without it absolutely <laughs> on the other hand i have prison architect installed i have this little game this the swapper i will probably make a little video about this game i really like it and i will uh, talk about it i have north guard not installed at the moment layers of fear infested planet this little game just is a great time killer uh, Football Manager 15, I haven't played on Linux yet, I did install it and um, yeah, I uh, tried it a little bit and it works apparently. Euro Truck Simulator 2, I didn't play this game at all and uh, yeah, it sh should be running in Linux natively. City Skylines, one of my favorite games as, uh, as I talked about it in, in, in my previous video. Um, it works great. There are some minor graphic glitches that I experience uh, in Linux and that I did not experience in Windows. And uh, I don't know, they don't bother me much. They will probably 
disappear with next driver update. Also there is Arma 3, I didn't play much on Linux, but yeah, it's. I'm so happy that the, the game is accessible on Linux. And of course I have a lot of other games that I can apparently play in uh, Linux. So that is great. Many possibilities, game-wise. Let's shut Steam down. I'm still using Dropbox. That is a well, great tool for me. Um, and ex you know, accessing my my files online. FileZilla is my go-to FTP uh, application. I'm using Firefox. In Windows, I use the most recently I used Brave. And when I changed to Linux, I actually installed Brave um, and used it for some time. But I really wanted to upgrade my privacy, you know, settings. So I changed to Firefox, a browser that I used for many years, actually from the beginning of of uh, Mozilla and, and Firefox, but I ran away from Firefox maybe seven, eight years ago when it was really bloated and, and, and slow. Then came Google's Chrome and I used Chrome for many years before I jumped to Brave early this year or the last year, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I'm back to Firefox and I am so pleased with it. It has some fantastic possibilities, great protection and privacy. And of course, uh, I'm running some add-ons that I'm really pleased with. And I will make a video about my Firefox add-ons. <laughs> Yesterday, actually, I installed my Google Music Manager and I was actually surprised that it is accessible in Linux. So that's that's pretty good. Skype, I'm using Skype for chat and that's a great. I think even it works better than in Windows. I'm not sure. Maybe it's just wishful thinking. But I'm so pleased with Skype. Synology Cloud Station Backup tool I use to make a backup to my NAS. Then I have Office Alternative in LibreOffice, uh, LibreOffice Writer and uh, Calc. And it's great. I don't miss Microsoft Word at all. You know, for writing, it, it's, this is just incredible. Uh, mm, yeah, and it's just wonderful. This is it, it works. No problems at all. Sound. Uh, I actually uninstalled Rhythmbox, uh, which comes pre-installed in Linux Mint, I believe. And I installed Audacious. I know many people do not like Audacious for some reason. They call it ugly. I'm not, you know... I don't agree. I don't agree. I think it, it is wonderful. Uh, um, and it's so simple and very minimalistic. And um, I am pretty content with it. I like it much more than Rhythmbox. Mostly because of this annoying habit Rhythmbox has when you minimize... the No, not minimize, but when you shut down the program, it's you can still find it here. Um, and I really did not uh, want that because I want to shut it down when I press the you know X button. Um, so Audacious instead of Rhythmbox. Audacity for audio manipulation. That is a great program that I'm used to uh, for my Windows period. <laughs> And the handbrake I use from time to time, Olive, as my video editor. And this is still in alpha, as you can see it here, uh, April 2019. And, uh, you know, a lot of rough edges, but I 
just love the way it is designed and uh, meant to be used this is this is really the future of video editing this is designed in such a great manner that it is easy to use and uh, it feels very light and very fast you know when rendering the video or uh, you know making changes and uh, making edits just great i love all it and uh, i hope that the new <laughs> updated version will come uh, as i am uh, eager to, to to see what new possibilities are there you know what kind of features it has and so on so olive wonderful video editor that i am using at this moment at least simple screen recorder for recording the screen and i am using it at this moment vlc media player for uh, uh, playing uh, any kind of video or audio uh, file wonderful a little program that i am using for many many years now yeah that's it um, app wise uh, talking about linux mint itself uh, i think it's great distro um, pretty stable no problem at all of course this is also the case because there are not many updates you know in linux mint they come from time to time we can open software manager yeah we have it here and uh, they're not so frequent of course it's not uh, arch linux uh, it's not a rolling distribution and i'm actually okay with it as long as it doesn't get too old uh, the versions of apps that i'm using then it's okay uh, as long as it is not as restrictive and conservative as debian i am happy with it um, so it's been great i really really love the way linux mint is made and the way it looks it just is perfect for me system settings as i mentioned it in previous videos uh, it's very easy to to you know get by and find the things you need to change date and time applets themes and i talked about themes this is one of the great features in linux mint the way you can change uh, the looks of uh, of your of your distro um, it's it's really great yeah i just changed it to, to brown mint y brown and uh, i really like the customization and the ease of making changes in linux uh, mint wonderful it really does have if of course not all possibilities you know but, but uh, as i said previous i really miss the feature you know of changing the refresh rate of your monitor this is something that i would like to be here uh, well it's not the case but uh, hopefully they will get themselves together and, and and do that you know it it should be available and not tinkering in, in you know with commands and and, and and such so overall it's been a great experience using linux mint 19.2 tina um, and i am so content that with, with it that i do not consider getting back to windows 10 i really really do not miss Windows 10's way of functioning and gathering all the private data, you know, data mining and, you know, imposing all the apps and games I really do not want. That is just failure on, on Microsoft part that got me out of their ecosystem uh, for now, at least. And I must say that that Linux meant was a great haven for me uh, and I intend to stay here uh, for a while at least and uh, so pretty pretty happy Linux, with Linux Mint and um, it's been wonderful 
four or five, six weeks in Linux world. You know, the universe I didn't didn't try uh, at least for uh, six, seven, eight years. And uh, I must say that a lot of things happened and changed and Linux has matured, absolutely. And uh, it is uh, ready for the masses. And uh, I believe I am one of the examples that it is possible to change from Windows even when you are long-time user as uh, as I was using Windows for almost 30 years and uh, I am really really happy with my Linux Mint 19.2 and before I go I just wanna add a few uh, things about Linux Mint. One of them is, of course, Time Shift. I just love this little app that actually saved uh, saved me a couple of times. I think it's an amazing tool for making backups of your system. And as I said, I already used it a few times when I actually managed to break my Linux uh, distro. Uh, so, Time Shift is absolutely a must have app for anyone using Linux, especially we saved me three times. Time Shift really, really helped me stay uh, in Linux and not running, you know, screaming back to. Uh, Windows. So Time Shift, uh, an amazing app. Um, I probably wouldn't <laughs> survive in Linux without it. Uh, another thing is update. I want to say a few things about Update Manager. A great uh, tool in in Mint, and it just works. Everything happens just in flow. What I really like is the kernel part of it. I was tinkering with it in, at the beginning when I had a problem with my graphic card and uh, I had to install some of the newer kernels. Then I had to go back because I had problems with uh, at least 5.0. I had to go back. Uh, right now I'm running 4.15.0.65 and it suits me well. Right now I do not have a problem with my graphics graphics card and it's great. Yeah, and talking about graphic cards, I really want to say one thing and that is I was really received fantastically by Linux community in general and uh, you can just see here this is uh, actually my first video I put on, on, on YouTube in September yeah, 11th 2019 and just take a look a few guys uh, already welcomed me and uh, they were really helpful with their comments and I just felt uh, enormous uh, drive and uh, and uh, uh, wish to help me as a, you know as a new Linux community member so th big thanks to Johan B Achilles H Aurora Reali Aurora was really really helpful in any possible way she helped me with my graphics card uh, if I can uh, the second video I posted two weeks later um yeah uh, she was really um helpful with uh, yeah especially graphics cards and some great tips um, i was given how to do you know updates on amd radeon drivers she even made several scripts as a solution to some of my uh, troubles you know uh, uh, refresh rate that is uh, one of the things I was renting 
about um, and I think it's just amazing so big big thanks to Aurora and uh, and the, all the others who really made me welcome to Linux community thank you all yeah I guess yeah I guess uh, that's it for now thank you and uh, goodbye <laughs>